In this movie, we will create the floor slab and the exterior walls of the first floor. Continue working in your own model or download step 6 TWG. Set the visual style back to BIM and switch the dynamic UCS off. Set layer floor slab 1 current. Start the rectangle command and snap to the top corners of the ground floor walls to draw two rectangles which we will use to extrude the first floor slab. Draw another rectangle which we will need to create the opening for the stairs. Because we need an opening in the floor slab for the patio, we also draw a rectangle on top of the glass panels on the ground floor. Select the four glass panels, then choose Isolate in the quad. Click the Show Entities tool to bring back the ground floor. Click the Isolate Layer tool in the Layers toolbar. Then click one of the rectangles and right click. Create a floor slab by extruding the rectangles. Now rotate the view, select the two rectangles at the bottom of the slab and use the extrude tool to create the openings for the stairs and the patio. Unify both parts of the slab. Click the Unisolate tool to bring back the ground floor. A small extension of the floor slab is needed here. Extrude a rectangle. Then unify the extension with the floor slab. Isolate the floor slab one layer. Let's create the slabs for the terraces now. The dimensions can be found in Dimensions DWG. Use the dynamic dimension fields to enter the width and length of the rectangles. Select all rectangles, then choose Extrude in the quad. Unify the L-connected slabs at the front. Start the Polysolid command to create the exterior walls of the first floor. Snap to the corners of the floor slab. And right click to stop creating more walls. Specify the height of the walls. 2950 and the width of the walls. 400. Remember to press the Tab key to switch between the entry fields. Hit the Control key 
to adjust the alignment and press Enter to create the walls. We will now edit the L connections of the walls. Select the first wall, then hover over the second and choose L connect in the quad. Repeatedly hit the control key until the correct L connection displays. Then press enter. Use the BIM drag command to create 1200 mm extension of this wall. And use BIM drag again to create space for the corner window. Remember to hit the tab key to select the reference face, then type the distance. Extend this wall to the edge of the terrace. Enable boundary detection to create an extension of 200 mm on the terrace slab. Unify the extension with the slab. And create a wall on the edge of the terrace slab. Some corrections are needed at the front right also. Enable boundary detection and extend the wall and the floor slab. Add sills for the corner window. Width 100 mm, height 200 mm. To finalize this step, we need an opening to get access to the stairs. Switch Dynamic UCS on. Isolate the wall. Start the rectangle command. Hover over the side face and press Enter to lock the Dynamic UCS and draw a rectangle. Drag the rectangle through the wall using the Extrude tool. Click the Show Entities tool. Then isolate the wall and the floor slab and use BIM drag to adjust the opening. Hit the tab key to select the obscured face. Click the Show Entities tool to display all geometry. In the next movie, we will create the interior walls on the first floor. Thank you for watching this tutorial movie. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.